what's that smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over. Something back there. What is that? Are those graves? Hello. What's the story with a locked room upstairs? It's Charlotte's. We don't go in there. It might help me figure out what's going on, if I could take a look around. Best of luck. That door locked itself up tight the day of her funeral. There's not a key in this world that'll open it. I've tried. Who else was in that old portrait with you? You know, hon, we had that covered up for a reason. I can't talk about it. Not right now. Please, just leave me be. Hey! <gasps> You're not Savannah. No, but you must be Wade. Is she with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. What kind of mess? Take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living or the dead? Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. Who else is here? Clara. That's Jessalyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably real people? No. What do you think of Colton? I do not like that shifty little punk. But I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him, I mean it a little extra. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Who runs the family company? Clara. Do you think that's fair? No. Would you like to run the company? Good, sweet nonsense, no. Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessalyn's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin. Hopper and Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the girls after her mama passed. Do you know Savannah? I did once. And now? And now I don't. How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there, researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading, like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. 
She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected, but then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died, that's when something I always knew came out shining so bright I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? I don't know. Yep, same here. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here, seeing the state we're in, but we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family have more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead. Especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Were you close to Jessalyn? Everyone was. Everyone is. She's the bright spot of happiness in this whole miserable family. See you later. Bye. Wanna hear a ghost? Check it out! Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. You northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. Like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimble Tucky Boys. And I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is... I like ghosts because they show me what is, not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid. Makes you smart, if it's muddy. See you later. Get on out of here now. No need to jump, just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about ten, Rosalie got real sick. Every day Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. Harper Stone. Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. 
She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. This blank one is my favorite. Why is that? Well, who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Virginia, my mother. Rest her soul. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her, and I always will. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart, and no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy. That's Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. Beauregard Thornton, mean old codger. Roger and Marie. Side by side from the day they married to the day they died. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents. May they rest in peace. It's locked. Ugh, you scared me. I found a set of graves without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? Most of the family would rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. That's when we split in two. Half saying this will never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. 
Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? I do. Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Okay. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but I heard through a friend of the guy down the way. You know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad. Locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked, right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines, that's true too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. Goodbye. Later. Hey. Well, what do you think happened to Jessalyn? Yeah, I'm trying to avoid thinking about it. I have a... My mind can get caught up in a real dark place. You know, when things around me get bad. What do you mean? Uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. Do you know anything about Clara's past? No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She'd get so close and just... stop dead. She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young. And she ended up living with her cousin's family. But that's it. I'd better get going. Bye. Hello. Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. As a matter of fact... Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse. But I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Wade said you're the reason he went to jail. Is that true? No. Wade is the reason Wade went to jail. He said you were the one who pressed charges. Well, isn't he the chatterbox when it suits him? Is that true? Yeah, it is. What he doesn't get, what no one gets, is that I meant well. No matter how he explained it to you, he broke the law. He broke into the factory, he damaged thousands of dollars of equipment, and scared the workers half to death. I didn't think he'd go to jail, though. And he knows that. What did you think would happen? I thought community service. An officer to keep him away from his crooked friends so he would finally straighten up. I planned on dropping the charges, but once the ball got rolling, I lost control of it. Wade ended up sitting across from a judge who wanted to make an example. And that was that. Wade has wanted his revenge ever since. I even... Oh, it's stupid. I even suspected him of taking Jessalyn to get back at me. But he'd never do something like that. I mean, I don't think. Everyone else seems to be avoiding the house. Why are you in here? You'll think I'm crazy. Not... After the day I've had. Fair enough. I guess I, I want to be close to whatever it is that took Jessalyn. See you later. See you later, hon.
Nancy. Did you get the package I left for you? Yes. I think they're silly, but apparently some of the people I've met swear by using EMF signatures on the property. What have you been up to since we spoke last? I've been teaching the road to know my wheels. Are you working on the next book? I've been running away from the next book. In an empty house that was filling up with chatty ghosts. But who knows, when I'm out of gas, maybe I'll have no choice but to listen to what they have to say. If they're interesting, I'll send you a gather to proof. If they're not, I guess I'll go teach. Do you know anything about the factory accident? Nothing I can verify. It's been scratched out of the local history. When I was there, I expected to feel something when I stood near the old factory. And nothing? As many spirits as I expected. I only met one. Charlotte? That'd be the one. Dear sweet Charlotte, the terror of Black Rock Island. I spoke to Wade. I figured that might happen eventually. Can I explain, or are we beyond that? I'm sure you have your reasons. I do. Wade said he was expecting you. Why didn't you tell me that? I was going to come. I meant it when I told him I was coming. But then? But then I got scared. What scared you away from taking the case? To be blunt, the living Thorntons are just as scary as the dead ones. Why? They've dug so many graves on that rock that death himself is on the Christmas card list. I can't help but wonder if they're misfortunate fools or just addicted to Sunday clothes and the sound of a spade taking a bite out of cold clay. Goodbye. Good night. What was that? <gasps>